What's up guys, Resale Rabbit here. So, if you've been following my YouTube channel for a little while, you know that I don't sell clothing. I know very little about clothing, but I decided to do an experiment. I bought 23 shirts at Goodwill at the outlet, and I wanna see how fast I can get them listed. I'm gonna do this live, so you're gonna see me listing. I've never done this before, this method. I figured out a way, I don't know if anyone else does this before, I don't watch clothing YouTube channels very much, but I sat down and figured out the most efficient, in my opinion, way to list men's shirts. Now, you could really do this with any type of clothing, as long as it's all in the same category. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I, like I said, I've never done this before. It could take me 20 minutes, it could take me four hours, I don't know, but you're gonna see the whole thing live. So let's take a look at the shirts here. I've got them all organized here by size. We've got small, medium, large, extra large, or maybe that's 2X, I don't remember, uh, 4X, and then these are the numerical sizes. So I've got all of these organized by size here. That is the only prep work that I did to this that could affect the time. Nothing else can affect the time here. Um, this one is buttoned up, and they need to be buttoned up. I did that when I was testing out the mannequin. So I bought this mannequin for 25 bucks, I believe. It's a little beat up. It does have arms, but I took them off to make it easier. And I put some pants on them so the pictures look a little bit better. I've got some binder clips here so I can make things fit a little bit better. So that I bought, that's the first thing I bought for this experiment. The next thing I bought was this ruler here. See, with my method, I'm not gonna type anything in the description. So I can't type the measurements in the description, so they're gonna be in the photos. So I bought this, I figure a physical, like yardstick, something like this would be a lot easier than a tape measure where I gotta fumble around with it constantly. So I've got this. What else do I have? I've got my mailers, I'm gonna pre-package them. I've got my label maker to actually label them so I know which is which. And I made this. This is laminated, this is gonna be one side, that's the other side. This is gonna go on the photo, so when I'm taking a picture of the size, you'll see the ruler and you'll see that, or that. And I just found this picture and this picture on a Google image search typed that into Microsoft Word with the photos, laminated it. So this is how I'm going to show the items. One thing that's important, every single listing, the way I'm gonna do this is by creating a listing and then clicking sell similar for each one. And the idea is the only thing that I will be updating is the uh, title and the images. Garrett says no sleeve length um, from a lot. I looked at a lot of clothing sellers at their descriptions, and those are the most of them just do those two, which is why I'm not doing sleeve length. So that'll save me a little step there. Um, if it ends up being an issue, maybe I'll do it in the future. I don't know. It wouldn't be too hard to make another one of these things with sleeve length. I mean, all I need to do is another picture and write sleeve length. So I'm going to basically make it so the only thing that I'm changing is the title and the images between each listing. With that, I don't know prices. I won't be doing any research on what any of these things go for, so every single piece of clothing is going to be listed as uh, $14.99 with free shipping. I'll turn on best offer. I'll make it auto accept anything above $7 and decline anything below $7. That way I don't need to deal with best offers or anything. Yes, some items are probably gonna sell a little bit cheaper than they should, but, I figure this will be a lot more efficient. I could list probably two or three times as many if I don't need to sit there and research prices on every single item. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes. I don't think there's anything else I have to add. If there is, I will talk about it in a minute. How much do, what did I pay per item? Well, this was at, let me flip this around. This was from the Goodwill outlet. So I don't know how much this weighs, but maybe 50 cents per shirt or so. It was like 89 cents a pound. So way up box full of men's button-up shirts and you'll have an idea multiply that by 89 cents a pound so at 50 cents an item which is what I'm roughly estimating that's really not a lot when you really think about it you know 50 cents if I sell 25 percent of these that means I really only have a dollar in each one that sells so let's get this mounted on the tripod and we will get started this pardon the shaking 
I'm trying to get this on the tripod so you can see it all happen. All right, here we go. Now, we are at five minutes and seven seconds, so let's just start from the beginning. The first thing that I am going to do is button up the shirt, which is probably gonna be the longest step. I hope you can see me, I'm on the rear facing camera here. The, long, the longest time suck here is going to be buttoning up the shirts. And I'm just gonna shove them over the mannequin. Now if I just started doing this where I'm doing hundreds of shirts every day, I may hire someone just to button these up. Think about it, if I paid somebody, you know, part-time salary of like eight, nine, 10 bucks an hour, whatever minimum wage is, to button up shirts. That's all they do is they button up shirts and maybe remove tags. I can see some of these right here. This one actually still has a Goodwill tag on it, so those will have to be removed. But if I just paid someone to button up shirts and nothing else, then that saves the biggest step for me. Now I'm gonna put this on the mannequin. This one is a size small, so it's a bit of a tight fit. I don't think I need to use the binder clips to actually size it or anything. So the first one is gonna be the longest one. I actually need to create a listing. Let me walk around here so I can get this on camera for you. I am going to click list item. I am going to type, I don't even know what brand shirt this is. Let me check. This is an IZOD size small. IZOD, ah, autocorrect. All right, this is gonna be complicated in front of the camera here. I hope you guys can see that. IZOD size small green men's button up um, dress shirt stripes. Uh, Trying to think of any other keywords. Um, that should be good for now. We can always update that later. Now it's recommending this category, so we're gonna use that category and we're going to move forward with it. Wow, this hurts my arms sitting here like this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is the, dis the details and description. The details here, we're gonna, it already kind of put that in. I wanna get rid of some of this stuff because we're just gonna do the cell similar. I'm not actually going to be editing this stuff later. I'm gonna keep the size. That's why I ordered them here by size. So that's the only thing that I'm gonna change. Every couple of shirts, I will change the size. Uh, what else? Color, we wanna get rid of that. Oops, I'm off camera here. Pattern, we wanna get rid of that. I'm getting rid of all of these except for the size. That way, I don't need to go back and edit these every time. Now, under details, it's going to be very generic. It's not gonna reference the shirt at all. I'm gonna pull this off camera so I can actually type a little bit easier. Um, just kind of spitballing some ideas here. This is a pre-owned, not presented, stupid autocorrect, pre-owned. If you're wondering why I'm not answering questions even when I'm in front of the camera, the tripod kind of covers the screen so I can't quite see what people are saying. This is a pre-owned men's shirt in excellent condition. No stains, rips, or tears. Um, we recommend washing this shirt prior to wearing it. Measurements, uh, if I can spell. This is gonna be a really boring video, by the way. I'm, I hope my head's not cut off. I'm kind of looking at the camera. It's like this high on me. I hope you guys can see me. Measurements are shown in the photos. Um, to compare, take your favorite factors. I hate autocorrect, but I also love autocorrect. Take your favorite shirt, lay it flat on a table, and measure it similar to the diagram shown. We accept returns for any reason Please feel free to 
utilize our no hassle return policy within 30 days. Seems pretty simple. Um, I can't think of anything else to put on there. So basically, it is just, I don't know if you can read this or not. Um, this is a pre-owned men's shirt in excellent condition, no stains, rips, or tears. We recommend washing this shirt prior to wearing it. Measurements are shown in the photos to, oh, uh, where am I? I'm trying to look at the camera and my phone at the same time. To compare your favorite shirt, take your favorite shirt, lay it flat on a table, and measure similar to the diagram shown. We accept returns for any reason. Please feel free to utilize our hassle, our no hassle return policy within 30 days. I'm going to change that to hassle free. That sounds a little bit better. Now, if you notice, I didn't reference the shirt at all, other than saying it's in great condition, because all these are in great condition. This is because this will be the same description on every single one of these shirts. So that is going to be my description. Maybe if I think of something better later, I will add it. Um, now, coming back to here, condition. This is going to be pre-owned. Uh, someone says anything from the bins pretty much needs a little TLC. It could be different. Um, I didn't catch all of that. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say anything from the bins needs TLC. What a lot of people think is, I'm gonna get back in front of the camera here. What a lot of people think is stuff from the Goodwill outlet is just items that didn't sell in the store, but that's not true. These stores get more clothes than they can possibly even put on the shelves. So some of it goes straight from the donation pile to the bins, which is why, for example, some shirts are still gonna have the tag on it and others aren't gonna have any tags on it at all. Um, now I'm sure some stores will actually remove the tags before they send them to the outlet, but your biggest giveaway is if some of the clothes have tags and others don't, odds are the ones without tags never even made it to the store. And this is the case with a lot of things. I know a guy who buys books from thrift stores like Goodwill and Salvation Army, and he will buy as donated books. They never even made it to the sales floor because they don't have room for that many books. So you're gonna find good things at the outlet. I've found some awesome items at the Goodwill outlet before. So anyways, format and price. Let me get back to where you can see this. I just changed this to fixed price. Buy it now price is gonna be $14.99. We're gonna accept best offers and automatically accept over $7 and decline anything below $6.99. That way I don't need to do anything here. So it says you buy DVDs and CDs from the bins. You know, the local one here in Appleton and the one in Rockford both charge a dollar a piece for DVDs. I hate that. Indy just charges by the pound. So now we're going to see these other options. Duration, I'm going to do good till canceled. I do that on all of my limits. Um, all that clothes and I can't dress. Uh, I think I dress pretty well. I like my style. Um, let's see. What else is in here? Shipping is going to go first class. I'm not gonna pre-weigh it because they're all gonna be a different weight. I'll just weigh it as I ship it. But we are going to do free shipping. I do that on almost every single one of my listings. And you know what? Let's add a shipping service. Let's add priority mail. Maybe somebody wants it quicker. Um, and it's just gonna be, they'll pay for priority mail. And then we'll just put it in a flat rate mailer. These shirts are small enough, they should be able to fit in that. So if they want to ship priority, then they're going to pay for it. And that actually works out well for me because I'll make a couple extra dollars. Now beyond that, now I'm going to go, I'm going to go off camera here. And uh, we want immediate pay. You guys may have just seen my email address. Please don't spam me. Returns, I am going to accept returns. We are going to go 30 days. And I always have this on my return. Must be returned in the same condition it was received. Um, shipping costs paid by the buyer. Um, that's just return shipping. Shipping to the buyer, whether I do free shipping or otherwise, I always refund that. Uh, so basically, I take half the loss, they take half the loss. Oh, I got an offer for Wii Sports Disc only. Uh, let's see, buyer restrictions on, sell for charity, so that's everything. Uh, all that's left now is photos. So, I'm going to come over here, and if you notice my lighting is not the best, I just put that lighting in my box as a diffuser. It's a terrible light. But if I start doing this more, I'm going to invest in some better lights. This is just an experiment where I don't want to put a ton of money in it. But you do notice I've got in the backdrop here a dry erase board. I would be putting the length in. It just takes 30 seconds, the sleeve length. If new with tags, tags must be attached upon return. Yeah, that's a good return policy. 
Um, so I am going to come up here and take pictures. I'm just going to come close in here. I'm going to come close on the logo here. I just realized there's a little 75 cent tag here on the shirt. So let's take that off. So that's basically all I'm going to do on the mannequin. Now I am going to take it off and come over here to the table. For this one, I am going to move the tripod so you can actually kind of see what I'm doing here. Uh, let's see if I can do this accurately. I'm trying to rotate this thing here. Ah, oh, I'm caught in a bag. This is a terrible quality video, guys. I, please bear with me on this. All right, so I hope I don't block the camera here. Now, I am going to take a picture of the tags. Now, this one is kind of being in the way. I don't like to be in the pictures at all, like my fingers or anything. So to hold that tag down, I'm just gonna use a pencil. You can use a screwdriver or something. Um, I'm gonna take a nice close up of the tags. I'm going to take a photo of the back of the shirt. The measuring stick is in the way. So I'll take a photo of the back of the shirt, just right flat on the table. The only one that really matters is my shadow is in this. I kind of have to stand where you guys are. Uh, the only one that really needs to be on the mannequin is the first photo, because that's the one that is actually going to be shown, the thumbnail that will be shown on the search results page. So I'm going to take a picture of the cuffs here. And these pictures, like I said, I'm no expert with clothing. I'm just taking pictures based on what I'm seeing other people's listings. Uh, we've got another tag right here. Uh, let's see, this should have the materials or something. 100% cotton, there we go. So I'll take a picture of that. And once again, grab my pencil to kind of flatten this. So I got a picture of that. Now it's time for measurements. So I'm just going to kind of lay it flat here. I'm going to put my measuring stick armpit to armpit. I'm going to put this thing in it right here. That way they can see that. Shows 20 inches. Then I will flip it over. bottom of the collar to the hem, I can straighten this out, the bottom of the collar to the hem, that's 25 inches, so we'll lay this out here, and we'll take a picture of that. And then that is it, I just saved the images here, I'm going to click done, and I'll take a second to upload them. I wish I could edit other stuff while that's happening. Wow, this one's taking quite a while. There we go. I'm going to add a couple other items uh, to the title. 100% cotton. I'm going to change green to lime green because that kind of looks like a lime green shirt. And we will... Continue. Uh, there is the item specific brand is missing. Okay, that's interesting. So right there is my first hiccup. I need to have a brand in there, which could be a problem because obviously each of these is a different brand. So there's not much I can do about that. We're just going to have to put IZOD. Someone just asked if this is 100% searchable. I don't want custom. It's in here somewhere. I believe it is because most keywords and stuff being searched is going to be the title. Um, I think it should be pretty well searchable. But you guys can try it out. Why am I on A? I. Izod. So that is going to be another step that's going to take a little bit longer to do on each shirt. So we're going to come back, let that do its thing. Um, so you guys can test this out in a couple of minutes. This listing will be live. Okay, what is it now? Specific style is missing. That's not going to be a problem because every single one of these is a button-up shirt. So they're all going to have the same style. So that I won't need to edit again. We're already 20 minutes into this video. I have yet to do one shirt. 
All right, now let's try it. You know, this is just trial and error. We're just playing around with it. I've never done this before. Now I'm gonna click view listing. I just got a message. I'm gonna click view listing. Man, my phone's a little slow. And here is my listing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click sell similar. Don't include photos. And this one is done. Next one, that was the only size small. So the next one is going to be a size medium. It is going to be this one. Let's get the camera back placed up here so you can kind of see everything that's happening. This one is going to be, I'm going to completely erase the title. It is a Hagger. There are two G's, autocorrect doesn't like that. Hagger Luxury Microfiber. It's a size medium, men's blue plaid, not Blair. Sometimes autocorrect really doesn't get it. Plaid, button up shirt. It is size medium, polyester, medium, and the letter M because somebody could be searching for M or medium. Polyester. So my title is Hager Luxury Microfiber. It says luxury microfiber on here, that's where I get that from. Uh, men's blue plaid button up shirt, uh, medium M polyester. And I think that should do it. So now, because this is the first one in a different size, under details and item specifics, we're gonna have to change this one. We're gonna have to change this in all of them. Uh, H, oh, I just passed it. There are a lot of Gs, there we go. Hager, that one does not look like it's in, there it is. And then we're gonna have to change the size, which we'll only have to change in between shirt, in between sizes. So I've got five of these. So we're just gonna change that. And the listing title is gonna be all, of this, all the same. And then now all I have to do is photos. So I will button up the shirt. Looks like some of them are already buttoned up. So you can see how quick this gets when all I have to do is change the brand the title and the photos, and then occasionally the size. So this one, oh, whoa, 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 this one is new with tags, so we're gonna do a quick change on that. I did not see that. All right, so we will put the shirt on the mannequin. This is a size medium, so it should still fit pretty good. We'll just kind of center it on him. Got a weird thing going on. There we go. And photos. We are going to take this one. We are, that's basically all we're gonna take on the mannequin here. Now we're gonna take some close-ups. I'm not gonna move the camera every time I do this. Uh, we wanna see the tags. We wanna see a close-up of the pattern and the buttons. We want to see the cuffs. And this one, I'm going to take a picture of the new tag that's interesting. So front and back of the tag. And the back of the shirt. That's interesting. I didn't even know that that was a brand new shirt. There's a couple of new ones in there, at least one new one in there. I guess there's more than one. We're gonna take a quick photo, oh, oh, my foot's in the picture. we take a quick photo of the back of the shirt, and then we should be good. And there's one more thing that I'm gonna do, I forgot to do it on the first one. I'm actually going to, I said I was going to pre-bag these. So I'm just going to quick fold it up. I'm going to put it in a poly mailer, which you can find on eBay or Amazon in bulk, pretty cheap. I'm not gonna seal it though, in case a customer has a question. So, I'll save the photos. I am gonna pull up my label printer here. And now let me show you how I have these organized. I am just going to print this label, a I4A01. I got this idea from, why does it want the day? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Um, 
Let's see, how do I go back? Oh, there we go. So, A4, I4, A01. I got this idea from the uh, YouTube channel 10K on the Bay. He does a lot of this type of stuff. Uh, forgot to cut it. So now, this shirt has this number. Now what the IA represents is the location of my eBay area, or the I4, I'm sorry, the location of the eBay area. The A represents this bin, and the O1 represents the shirt in the bin. Now I was just gonna peel these off and stick them on there, but it's very difficult to peel it off. It's a lot quicker just to tape it on. So I'm going to just tape this right onto the top, and we're gonna put it right in the bin. And that's how we're gonna sort them and organize them. Now I'm gonna have that in the title of the listing so when I actually sell it, I can find it pretty easily when I go to ship it. So, now a couple other things we need to change here. This is such a boring video, I don't know why you guys are still watching. Uh, first, we are going to put right in the beginning, I for a o one. Oh, I don't have any more characters, so let's find a way to cut these down a little bit. Uh, let's get rid of the word luxury. That doesn't really do us much good. A O one. So I have that in the title. That way I can kind of find it a lot easier. And since I've got, I think I got a little extra space, let's put, no, we don't have enough space to put the word new. So, sometimes that character limit really gets you, but you really should be doing the entire limit. I am going to get rid of the part where it says pre-owned, anything that references pre-owned in the listing. And then, right here where it says pre-owned, I'm gonna get new with tags. And then continue, everything else is the same. Now I have another new with tags medium shirt here. So this one is gonna go next. Now this one I actually did not get at the outlet. It uh, was on a truckload of Target stuff. So this shirt will go next. Is that a pull? No, that's just, a, I thought those were tears, it's just string. So next, we are going to do this Morona size medium button up shirt. Fumbling with the hanger here. Now this one, it's kind of lucky. It's the same size too, so I don't need to edit it a whole bunch of times as I do these. That is really tight to the neck. We got a little piece of fuzz here, size medium. That's a nice looking shirt. So we are going to view listing and click sell similar. We're not gonna include the photos. And now we're gonna take pictures. And the button the bottom is kinda of screwy, there we go. So there's a picture of the front. We'll do a picture of the tag picture of this tag. This one's got a clearance sticker still on it. We're going to remove that. MSRP on the shirt was $30. That was the original price. It was clearance down to $8.98. Oh, here, I'll show you. Uh, will it focus? There you go. $29.99, clearance down to $8.98. So I should have no problem getting $15 bucks for it. We're gonna pop it off here. We are going to do a couple of close-ups. For example, the tag here. We are going to get the cuffs, which on a new shirt, I'm not sure that's really necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway. A close-up of the pattern, and time for the measurements. Hit to pit, 21 inches. 
This is my first time doing this. I mentioned that already. Once I do this a few times, I think I'm really gonna have this down and be able to get this done quick. Now, collar to hem is hold on, 30 and a half inches. So we've got that. And we will fold it up. Pop it in the mailer. And when it comes time to ship these, all I'm gonna have to do is weigh it and throw a label on it. It is going to be very quick to ship them. I will get myself a tag. We're going to take that away and make it two. Got myself a tag here. Throw a piece of tape on it. Doesn't need to be pretty. I'll take it off if I need to later. And we'll just put that in the bin. Now, all we need to do is the title, which I should have probably waited to put put it in the bin. Wow, this video is half an hour long. Like I said, this is gonna be a really long and boring video. That's a swole mannequin. I looked at like that. Maybe, maybe not. I would not pay $14.99 for a regular men's dress shirt. I can get it for, I lost the rest of that. You know, I personally wouldn't either, but people do. All right, um, we wanna change this from the last one to, first off, that is two, and is Morona. I know it's a size medium, but there's something of non iron. That's what I wanted to remember. Verona non iron blue striped dress shirt. Let's go back. Men's button down dress shirt. Medium, the letter M. New. Plain and simple. And then we continue. I did forget one thing. Remember, we're changing the brand on every single one. So I'm going to go in here under item specifics, get rid of Hagger, and M E. Let's see. Wow, there's a lot of MAs. I don't, there it is, Morona. So that is actually the most time consuming part um, of doing this, it seems, trying to find the brand. Now that, I believe, is the only new with tags shirt we've got here. So, we are going to have to revert back to new, or I'm sorry, pre-owned on the next one. I'm not used to the keyword that I'm using right now. I'm sorry, I can't catch these. Part of the tripod is covering the, um, the screen here, so it's tough for me to read these. Let me see if I can move this over here. I'm gonna cover. All right, now I should be able to see comments a little bit better. My tripod is one of those uh, cell phone tripods. Um, and it is covering up the screen. So we are going to click sell similar, just like last time. We are not going to include photos. And the next shirt is going to be this one. This one is American Eagle. Like I said, I don't know clothing that well. This is new for me, so I don't know brands. I don't know if American Eagle is any good. Now this is a snap shirt. I like shirts that snap. It's quicker than buttons. And I feel like a total badass when I'm getting ready for bed or hopping in the shower and I just, oh, I 
feel like Wolverine. All right, we are buttoned up, making sure there's no tags. We will put the mannequin on. See, it's a lot quicker to do this with the arms off. If I had the arms on, I'd be fumbling around with it. It's so much quicker this way. One of the sleeves is rolled up and kind of wrinkled. You know, it, would, it might help to have an iron to iron these, but for the price point, we're just looking for volume. The customer can figure out that they can iron it. All right, and this I am pretty sure is a size medium. Let me just double check. Size medium. So we are going to come in here, get rid of that, and the title will be I, uh, I for a O three American Eagle. Some folks do not live near shopping, they'll pay a lot. Some people also, maybe they really like a shirt and want to find the identical one. Do I snipe clothing on eBay to resell? I'm new to selling clothing. Have you ever had a problem with Smart Post charging you one price on eBay and eBay comes, they charge more than double? Wow, I've actually never checked that, so huh, maybe it's happened, who knows. American Eagle, plaid, uh, I would say that's a brown tone. Brown tone snap snap up shirt um, I've heard the term pearl snap this is an actual question for you guys that know clothing is this a pearl snap or does it have to like actually be pearl if I look at that let's see if it'll focus is that considered a pearl snap I don't know like I said I'm new to clothes my goal here is to teach you clothing because I don't know clothing my goal is to let you guys watch as I try to figure out a good listing strategy. I suppose I can come over here and look at comments. Close enough? Sure, let's call it a... Someone says, yep, so we're good with saying Pearl Snap. Pearl Snap shirt, uh, men's shirt, medium M. Where did I get the measurement card? I made that. I'll show it again for those who are new. Um, like right before I did this video, I went and did a Google image search of pictures like this. I don't remember what I searched, like men's shirt sizing guide or something like that. I just made this, or grabbed this and this from Google images. I put them in the Microsoft Word and wrote the, you know, what it is and then laminated it. Very simple. Uh, Rakin doesn't sell on eBay. He just sells courses. No, he sells on eBay and Amazon. He also sells courses uh, They have to be real mother of pearl. Just kidding. Okay, so it seems unanimous that that's pearl snap So I'm comfortable with that So let's fix this And we can take the pictures I one tip that I do have is I try to use every bit of this so see I've got room for What's that maybe eight to ten more characters here? I don't know if that's focusing everywhere I put the H's. So I'm gonna try and think of something to put in there. So how about the material? It is, oh, vintage fit, that sounds good. I wonder if I have enough character space to put that in. Vintage fit, I can put vintage but not fit. So let's get rid of a word. So now my title is, put Western in the title. Ooh, that's good, I like that. Uh, let's see. Where should I put that? Let's get rid of plaid. Oh, I'm one character shy. Uh, VTG is universal. Good idea. VTG. So that's some good tips there. Uh, so I have American Eagle Western Brown Pearl Snap Men's Shirt Medium M VTG Fit. Seems like good keywords there. And I did go back and copy the original description that I was using, saying it was a pre-owned shirt. Remember, I deleted that for the new shirts. So I did go back and copy that from a different listing. So we need to, let's see, brand, get rid of IZOD. I went back and did a sell similar from the IZOD shirt. That way it had the full, um, the full description. All right, American Eagle, where are you? All American, we're getting there. 
Uh, American Apparel, there we go, American Eagle Outfitters. So once again, this is the front here, or the front, this is the specifics, the brand, style, button, front, size, regular, size, M, and I didn't do anything else. So we are going to take pictures now. Everything else is ready. Condition, remember I was doing new, I made sure to revert that to pre-owned. You can just copy and paste the description. I can, but I just decided to do sell similar. That way I don't need to go mess around copy and pasting and changing other settings. So it all imports all of the same settings. We'll get a picture of the snap here. And move it down onto the table. Get a picture of the tag. We want the cuffs, which are incredibly wrinkled, but I don't have an iron here, and for a $15 shirt, I'm really not gonna sit here and iron it. Now the back of the shirt. Interesting color scheme, that's for sure. All right, now measurements. We are going to armpit to armpit. 21 inches and collar to hem. Let's like undo the wrinkles. 28 inches. One thing I'm doing here, I'll show you this in a second. I could not find a ruler that I liked. I wanted one where you could see the numbers. Some of them, it was just kind of etched in. I wanted them painted so you can see them, but I don't like how it has both numbers. Obviously, if it's 33 inches, it only has three on the other side. The buyer is going to know it's not three inches, but what if we were somewhere in the middle here, like 20? The buyer isn't going to know if this is 16 or 20. So what I'm doing, actually, is using this to cover half of it so you only see the half that is actually relevant. Just a little tip there so buyers don't get confused. Now this one is done, continue. Now we will bag it up. List. And then we're going to view listing. I'm going to change the number. We're going to sell similar. See how you can kind of multitask while you're doing this? There is the ID tag. And it is ready to go on the shelf. Now it's asking, do I want to include photos? No, I do not. The last size medium here, we've got I don't even know if this would be considered a shirt or a jacket, but it's Pendleton. The first Pendleton I've ever found. It doesn't look like a really nice one. I might price this one a little bit higher rather than 15 bucks. I really don't know. It kind of almost looks like a jacket though, but we will. Yeah, this is a jacket. This isn't even a shirt. How does it look? Just, I'm just kind of looking. It looks like a light jacket here because the buttons don't even start until right here. This is not going to be a shirt. So actually, I'm going to list this later when I'm doing jackets. So I'll just put that up there. So the next one we're actually going to do is going to be this one. A Hawaiian shirt. Helena's. Uh, I don't know that brand. I don't know any of these brands, so I couldn't tell you if any of these are worth the Valley Picker is a, a pro at selling clothes on eBay. I've heard of him. I should check out his channel. Um, let's see. This feels like nice material. I, like I said, for those of you who are just kind of tuning in, I have never really sold clothing before on eBay. A couple items here and there. Um, I am trying out to see how fast I can list clothing. If I could list two or three hundred listings in a day on clothing, then I would consider doing a lot more, buying volume, potentially even buying pallets of used clothing. But I want to see if this is even possible. And so we are just going to try it. Nice Hawaiian shirt here. This one, 
We'll get his pictures now because I don't remember the brand, so I will get the brand later. This one is a short sleeve. We have Aloha Hawaii. And this one is a size large, so we are done with the mediums now. And we will get the sleeves. We will get a shot of the back of the shirt. And now measurements. And see how quick this really goes. Finding every shirt is a little bit quicker than the last as I'm getting the hang of this. 28 and a half collar to hem. Now let's see if we can find the material. This tag is really faded. If you can see here, oh, that's really faded, the bottom tag there. So I was able to see the size just barely. You can tell it says size large. Style 102. Uh, I'm gonna save these pictures. Um, is there 100% polyester? That's what I'm looking for. So for a title, I hate how long it takes these pictures to upload. I wish I could edit the title and stuff while it's uploading the pictures. That would be nice. This is Helena's. Helena's, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna pull Raken and mispronounce things again. We're gonna quick change the number. Helena's men's Hawaiian purple button up short sleeve shirt. And let's see, we want to change the details. Now this is the first size large, so we're getting rid of the medium and changing it to a large. Someone says it makes sense why I bought a Morona. I actually didn't buy that Morona. That came from a um, palette of Target apparel. Well, like I said, I bought every button-up men's shirt that I could find. Uh, someone asked if I'm still selling on Amazon. I am, but a little bit different. I'm no longer thrifting for Amazon. It's only product that I source direct from the manufacturer and have approval to sell on Amazon. Uh, let's see, HA. I'm telling you, I gotta find a way to make this part quicker, changing the brand in here. It requires a brand, which kinda sucks. And I don't see this brand in here, so I'm gonna have to add it. Right here, H E L E N A apostrophe S. And we're good to go. This one will be listed. This is a very smooth, silky material here. It's polyester, which I suppose I should mention on here. Throw that on the title. Um, continue. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut this video out because this is a really long video. I am at 48 minutes and I've gotten one, two, three, four shirts done among all of my talking. So I think that's what we will do now. And I'm going to comment below. I'm going to count out how many shirts I've got left and I'm going to do a, run a timer and do a comment on this video tell you exactly how long it took me to do them afterwards. Obviously when I'm doing less talking to you guys and reading comments, I'm gonna get a lot more done. Let me take this off the tripod here. Oh, hey, look, it's my hand. So when I'm talking and reading comments, of course it slows me down a little bit. Um, we did, I don't know, about 10 minutes per shirt here with all of that. I want to really cut that down. I want to see if I can get each shirt done in two minutes each. So that's all I've got today for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really boring, but it's a video. I got to get something in here. 
Um, I'm gonna do this a few more times and maybe another day once I get this down pat I will do a video where it actually can get done much quicker. So that's it. I will see you guys later.